All right, now this combo, we're gonna go ahead and get some of that quick, not only movement in, but stabilization in. And then we're also gonna go ahead and try and encourage the uh, proper pattern, get everything turned on that we're gonna use when we run. So when we look at um, leg swings, and these are typically done by holding on to something, whether it's the front and then going, or holding on to the side and then going. So my issue there is I just see people driving way too much movement through their low backs. And what we want to do is pretty much drive through the hip. So what I've done is asked athletes that I work with to not hold on to anything. So I want you to be as ballistic as you can be, but you're also gonna to have to stabilize the force you're generating. And obviously that's what we're gonna need when you go out there to do your run workout. So if I'm gonna go with my leg swings, so I can still push it, but when I'm holding on, the tendency is people drive it through their back, drive it through their back. What I wanna do is keep this at the hip, because that's what we're gonna be using when we're running. Now the cool thing is that stance foot, my closed chain side, it's having to do a whole lot to manage me to keep me from falling over. And then the same thing if we're gonna go with these across the body. So I would much rather have, in this case, my left hip having to control me, but I can still get as much of this turn as I want instead of holding on and just making it all a spinal twist. So whatever the number is, 10 times, we have our extension and then we have our rotation. Remember, don't hold on. Stand out in the open, but you can be aggressive. And then this is a little slower moving, but we wanna go ahead and wake things up in the pattern you're gonna use them. So it's just kind of a dynamic balance walking drill. So we're gonna step, bring the knee up above waist height, come across, you're gonna push down on that knee. So we're getting the hip flexor awake, we're getting the abdominals awake, and you're staying nice and tall. Now, you're gonna take a step each time you do that. So if your balance is looking pretty good, let's see if we can transition up to the ball of the foot and then a little pause when you're up there. So we're pressing down, but we're also pausing. So one more time from the front. Press, make sure you have this before you go up. And sideways. So that pressing down, we're getting the abdominal muscles on, we're getting the hip flexor on, we're getting the other side glute when you transition the ball of the foot. And as long as you're not falling over, we know you have the ability to stabilize. So we can be ballistic with our leg swings and then make sure that we have nice control with the walking run activation.